In my last video, I showed you a few different ways to manually restart your router if you're experiencing networking issues. But what if I told you there was an opportunity to be more proactive in this approach? In other words, rather than taking action after experiencing networking issues, you can actually get ahead of these networking issues and in some cases, maybe prevent them altogether. In this video from Network From Home, I'm going to explain to you a few different ways that you can set your router so that it will automatically reboot on a set schedule. There are multiple benefits to doing this, and it might save you a lot of trouble in the long run. So with that, let's dive right into it. It's a fair question. Why would you want to restart your router in the first place? The answer here is very simple. Believe it or not, your router is actually very similar to other electronic devices in your home network, such as your personal phone, such as your laptop. They're all electronic devices. They all have memory, they all have software, and they all have storage. And similar to these other devices, it's good to restart them once in a while. You don't want them running 24 seven. For example, although your phone might be on 99% of the time, Every once in a while you want to restart it, you're going to be updating it. It's good to give it a fresh start in terms of its operations. A router has similar benefits with you restarting it. For example, by restarting your router on a regular schedule, you're ensuring that that memory doesn't get filled up because every time you restart it, it gets rid of the things that it doesn't need. On top of that, every time you restart your router, it will automatically select the best Wi-Fi channels to communicate with your devices. In other words, if you're operating on certain Wi-Fi channels, you have neighbors move in or you live in an apartment complex, you might have people start using the same Wi-Fi channels that your router is using. Well, in restarting your router, it will select Wi-Fi channels that aren't being used by others to ensure that your devices get the best connection when communicating with your router. Now, when it comes to setting up your router to automatically restart on a set schedule, there's actually a few different ways to do this as well. The first is a little more rudimentary here. And what I'm talking about is whether you wanna get one of those smart plugs or you get one of those electronic timers that plugs into your outlet, it gives you an opportunity to schedule a time to turn off the power to your router and then conversely, schedule a time to turn it back on. This gives you control of when your router restarts. But honestly, if you follow method two, you won't need this extra device. You won't need a smart plug. You won't need an electronic timer. And that's because you can set your router to restart within your router settings itself. You don't need anything else because this is a built-in feature for your router. So with that, I'll give you the steps that you need to follow in order to set up your router to automatically restart on a set schedule. In order to follow this procedure, all you really need is a mobile device with an internet browser, and that device needs to be connected to the network of the router that you want to set to automatically restart. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to be using my laptop to show you these steps. Again, any mobile device will work here. You can use your cell phone, a tablet, a laptop, anything with an internet browser. And speaking of which, let's get an internet browser open to start this procedure. One thing to note before I dive into this procedure is that the majority of these steps pertain to accessing your router settings. I will run through these steps pretty quickly in this video but if you need a slower, more detailed procedure about how to access your router settings, I've actually made another video that's dedicated just to this topic. I'll link to that video up above, so you might wanna check that one out before we move on here, just so you don't get left behind. So the first thing we wanna do in our internet browser is we wanna enter the IP address for our router or the default location for your router settings. So in my case, I can just type in the IP address of my router, which I know off the top of my head, HTTP dash dash 192.168.0.1 and hit enter. This takes me to the login screen for my router settings. I will now enter the username and password for my router. And again, if this is something you're not sure what your username or password is, 
refer to that video that I discussed earlier that details how to access your router settings. All right, so I've successfully authenticated to my router. I can now change my router settings. One thing I wanna note here is that these steps are for my router and my router alone. Based upon the make and model of the router that you have in your home network, these steps might be slightly different, but honestly, the general concept will be the same. With that, let's access the advanced tab up here at the top. Okay, from this screen, what we wanna do, we wanna go down here on the left-hand side, we're gonna scroll down to System Tools. And here in System Tools, we'll scroll down Reboot Schedule. Couldn't be much easier than that, could it? So we're gonna click on Reboot Schedule. Another note here, and it's an important one, is right up here at the top of the screen, it says that you wanna make sure that the time settings on your router are accurate before you set a standard restart schedule for the device. And this makes total sense. So if this is something you need to change, you can go over here, there should be another header under System Tools, Time Settings. You can go in, make sure your router is set to the proper time, and then we can move forward. So back to our reboot schedule here, here's where you can pick any schedule that you want for restarting your router. I would recommend that you use a monthly schedule. Honestly, you don't need to go too crazy. You don't need to go in here and select every day or every week. Once a month is probably sufficient unless you're experiencing frequent network issues. If that's the case, you'll wanna increase the frequency here. The next thing here is the day of the month. Honestly, I kind of picked this at random. If you have a set day, if you wanna do it on the first of every month, go ahead. But honestly, it's, this is totally up to you and it will likely be different for everybody. For the reboot time, 3 a.m., <laughs> especially at my age now, I'm very rarely, actually, I'll, I'll take that one step further. I'm never using the internet at 3 a.m. in my home. So it's a perfect time for me to restart my router because it happens without me even noticing. I'll be fast asleep and my router will take care of itself. Okay, so once you have this set up, you just wanna select save. You'll get a little notification saying that your router settings have been saved and then you'll be all set. One thing you might wanna do the first time is set a restart for five minutes in the future just to make sure that this feature is working properly on your router. With that, your router is now good to go. It's going to restart on a schedule that you might not even know about, depending upon the time that you set and how often you set your router to restart. If you have any questions about this procedure, please drop a comment below. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a like so it gets shared with others. And lastly, if you like this content, whether it's entertaining for you or you get some useful tips out of it, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be continuing to pump out more content here moving forward, and I would be grateful to have you join along for the ride. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.